and welcome to today's video. Today's video is about one of my favorite bits of photography gear uh, that for about $30 to $100 will solve one of my uh, biggest problems. And let me tell you what that biggest problem is. Here it is. It's all about lenses. So with this lens, my 50 to 140, the problem is 36 inches. With this lens, my 16 to 55, which I use quite a bit as well, the problem is eight uh, is uh, 12 inches, 12 inches. Uh, with the lens I use the most, this 18 to 135, you can tell I'm a zoom guy, uh, the problem is 18 inches. And then with my 10 to 24, this wide angle zoom, the problem is about 10 inches. Those dimensions I just gave you, that's the minimum focusing distance. The, as close as you can get to your subject before the lens can no longer focus. If you get any closer than with this lens, 10 inches, which is the minimum focusing distance, it just goes blurry, okay? Now, one of the reasons I like getting close to my subjects is for two reasons. I guess there's two reasons. Uh, the first is it's a great way to reduce distractions. Uh, when you get closer to things, there's less stuff around it, less room for other things. And then the second reason I really like getting closer to subjects is uh, it creates interesting photos because it's a point of view. You're putting the camera in a place where you don't normally put your eye. And that's a great way to create interest in your photos. Okay, so here's what I'm going to use to solve that problem. These guys, they're called extension tubes. There's actually two here. Two, two. So these are extension tubes. And basically what these do is they hack the minimum focusing distance of your lens. They let you get closer than you normally could. So it's really, really cool. And these cost between $30 and $70. I'll uh, go through some buying suggestions at the end, towards the end of the video. But they're really awesome. They're great because all you do is you take your lens off your camera, put this on, and then put your lens back on. So the extension tubes mount to the camera body and then your lens mounts to the extension tubes. Now, instead of 18 inches, as my minimum focusing distance, I can get down to about five inches. Okay, so what I wanna do is show you a sequence of photos where I show you the advantage of using an extension tube, what it lets you do, and some of the things you need to pay attention to. So first photo here is with the 18 to 135 without the extension tubes. And this 18 to 135 focuses closest and gets the most magnification on the subject at 135 millimeters. Uh, that's that 18 or so inches of minimum focusing distance, and that's what this photo is showing. Camera's about uh, 18 inches away. It's actually about uh, 12 inches from the front of the lens. Um, and then, um, boom, this is what I can get. This is at an aperture of 5.6. Uh, so you get a shallow depth of field. So what I'm gonna do in the next photo is just add an ex one extension tube. And extension tubes are measured in millimeters. So this is an 11 millimeter, 11 millimeter. Let's see if I'm right about, excuse me. It's a 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, I don't know if that's in focus. There, it looks like it is. 10 millimeter tube. So all I did to the next photo is add a 10 millimeter tube and then put the 18 to 135 back on. Okay, so it's this little guy and then the lens. So the, the camera's in the exact same place and here's what we get. So it's a little bit closer. So basically you get a little more magnification. Uh, even though I didn't move the camera at all, you get a little more magnification. So the next photo, what I'm gonna do is get the lens as close as I can to take advantage of the new minimum focusing distance, which when it's at um, uh, the 10 millimeters works out to about six or seven inches, give or take a little bit. Okay, so that's this photo. So that's with this at 135 millimeter F5.6, one 10 millimeter extension tube. Okay, so the next photo what I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna add the second tube. This one is 16 millimeters, so a total of 26 millimeters of extension tube, and that'll show you the next photo. 
there we go. So this photo I can get to about three inches away. So I'm super close and you can see that I can see all the detail, all the texture on this ruler, uh, all the weathering, the aging, and look at how shallow that depth of field is. It's about a quarter of an inch, if that. So you have to be very precise with your focusing, very precise with your subject placement, and uh, you'll probably need a tripod because any little bit of movement will throw off your focus point because you are so close and everything is magnified, including any motion in the camera will get magnified, um, any motion in your subject. So it's, it's a little bit trickier. Uh, I suggest a tripod to help you hold the camera still because you might be moving into longer exposures, potentially smaller apertures because that depth of field is so shallow. Um, and uh, maybe even a remote shutter release so that you're not touching the camera and introducing any motion when you click. Uh, I use my uh, free uh, remote shutter release. It's called the self timer. Uh, I set it for two seconds, tap the shutter button, it goes one, two, and then it clicks the photo. So that's the magic, I think, of extension tubes. They let me take uh, almost any lens I have and turn it into a close focus, almost a macro lens. So I can get really close on a budget and it works with all my lenses. So one thing that happens when you put extension tubes on your camera is now the camera's only close focus. So if I try and focus on my, um, my uh, video camera here, it won't focus, it's just blurry. So anything beyond, and every lens will be different with this. Um, anything beyond probably about eight, 10 inches will be out of focus. So just be aware of that. But one of the cool things that happens with that is you get cool blurry blobs out of focus. So one favorite trick I have is to put my camera in manual focus, zoom in, find some balls of light and just make them blurry. So I'm just taking a picture of my, uh, Lights on the ceiling, and that's what you get. Here, where are we? There you go, so cool. Uh, extension tubes, they're pretty fun. Uh, relatively affordable as far as camera things go. So here's some buying advice. Um, I'm gonna show you a, a web page with a bunch of um, extension tubes for my camera mount, the Fuji X. Uh, X system. So how? just go to your favorite photography website, uh, do extension tubes, your camera name. There you go. So here's what we get. We've got options from $30 to $120 uh, and stuff in between. Um, the one I have is this Velo uh, two-piece kit. Uh, it's on sale for $64 right now, plus the education discount. Very nice. If you're in b &H Photo has a discount for people in education. It's kind of cool uh, on some things, not everything. The Fuji version of this is uh, more expensive. Uh, it's $75 um, each for, uh, for the six, 11 millimeter and 16. So it's a total of 150 versus, it's basically twice the price. Um, uh, my suggestion is when you get an extension tube, if you get one, is to get one that is made of metal that preserves your, so it has the contacts for um, autofocus and auto exposure. Um, so it's got durability and all the camera functions you're used to. Um, you can stack these, I mean, there's kits of these that have like four or five of them, but that seems a bit excessive. I found this is about as much as I need and I'm quite happy with this 20 millimeters of extension tubes for about $75. So kind of a middle price, good construction. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's my extension tube advice. Hope it's helpful. I hope it lets you get closer to your subjects, uh, create new and interesting looks at your things. Uh, one thing you'll have to do with extension tubes is experiment with your, if you have more than one lens, experiment and find out which lens combo and or zoom combo works the best for the kind of photography you like to do. I found for me my 18 to 135 at 135 millimeters at between f5.6 and f11 uh, works really, really well. So I would love to uh, answer any questions you have about extension tubes. Please leave 
uh, questions in the comments below. If you have personal experiences with extension tubes you'd like to share, that'd be awesome. Uh, so I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. There'll be lots more videos coming up, about one a week. And uh, look forward to seeing your photos. Again, if you want to share those in the comments below as well. So until the next video, have fun creating photos, be safe, stay well in the midst of this end of 2020. Uh, and uh, here's to a happy, happy and healthy holiday season and uh, a hopeful 2021.